Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me for some yoga today. Today I'd like to focus on Kapalabhati. It's breath work or pranayama, life force. And this particular breath work, Kapalabhati, is very energizing, very purifying. So I find it's a great way to get over my energy slumps midday around three o'clock when I'm just when I'm running out of steam or sometimes when I'm feeling stressed it's a nice reset and sometimes I even enjoy doing it in the morning just to get my day started. So for this breath they wear it's a very active exhale and a passive inhale. So we would start off breathing together and then all of it's going to happen in the nostrils. So we'll breathe in through the nostrils and then exhale through the nostrils. Now when we're exhaling, it's very forceful, it's explosive. And while we're doing that, you can feel you're, you're snapping your belly button back towards your spine. So it might be something like this. So it's all happening with the mouth closed, inhaling through the nostrils, exhaling forcefully through the nostrils, snapping while snapping the belly back. Um, for this one, I would suggest giving yourself time to digest after any meal. Also, um, for any woman who's expecting, or for anyone with high blood pressure, this may not be the best breath for you. And now, at any time while you're trying pranayama or breath work, I do recommend um, going with what feels best for you. So if you start to feel dizzy, if it starts to make you feel lightheaded, if you start to feel anxious, just stop right away and resume normal breathing. So let's give it a try just three times, taking it nice and slowly. So let's sit in a comfortable seated position. If you're in a chair, feet are grounded on the floor. Spines up, heads towards the sky perhaps dropping your chin. Hands can come onto your belly to help guide that belly button. So ideally, shoulders are relaxed and what's really engaging is your abdomen. So we're going to inhale together and exhale through the mouth just to start. And then everything will happen through the nostrils. Let's breathe in. Now, Let's try a couple of bati. So we'll breathe in through the nostrils, exhaling forcefully, and then snapping the belly button back. Let's try that three times. Now let's reset, breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Let's give that a try. One more time, a couple of bati. So it's relaxing through the shoulders, engaging through the abdomen, breathing in through the nostrils and exhaling forcefully through the nostrils, snapping your belly back. Let's get started. Reset, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let's give it one more set of three. Feel free to keep your hands on your belly or if you'd like, try it with your hands on your knees. Relaxing the shoulders, breathing in through the nostrils and we'll get started with three more rounds of Kapalabhati. Let's reset, breathing in through the nose So as you continue with this, perhaps you want to go up to a set of 10. And then as you build up, maybe five sets of 10, maybe even up to 70 times and in one sitting or up to three minutes at a time. I hope you enjoy exploring Kapalabhati with me and I hope you enjoy exploring Kapalabhati on your own. And I hope it feels energetic clarifying, purifying, and hopefully illuminating. When we say kapala, it's skull, and bati is 
shining, a shining or shiny skull or illuminated skull. So enjoy your breath work. Thank you for joining me.